Correct. All the cabins they might pass by have been checked. Remember to report to lead researcher Asta. We'll deal with problems outside the base zone later. Huh, it's you. Sorry, this is embarrassing. We suddenly had some stuff come up. I wanted to take care of it before you arrived, but I can't seem to even get a break. Never mind about that. Here, this is for you. I made it this morning, and I've been keeping it warm. It's just a little something I whipped up. I spent a long time wondering what to give you. In the end, I realize I should stick to what I'm good at. Miss Asta loves my fried rice, so I hope you like it too. Sorry it's so noisy here. I wanted to find somewhere quieter where I could get your feedback, but... Hmm. I'm pretty confident in this dish. Unfortunately, I was a bit rushed at the end. Some big shot suddenly decided to visit the space station today. Everyone has been in a hurry since the announcement. They're all worried that a bad impression could damage Madame Herta's reputation. Miss Asta said that the guest appears to be Madame Herta's research partner. If he's doing research with her, he must be famous throughout the galaxy. Ah, uh, look at the time. The guest is almost here. If you're curious, just follow the crowd. Miss Asta and I will be there soon. Hypothesis. Thought always precedes word. Huh? And yet, I can't find the words for this moment. It's good to see you, Asta. I apologize. I'm four minutes and 13 seconds earlier than the appointed time. I hope it's not a bother. Of course not, Mr. Skrullum. Welcome to Herta Space Station. No need for formalities, Asta. Herta Space Station is where knowledge converges. Here we celebrate the equality of thought. Such collaboration between organic life forms is magnificent and efficient. You're rebuilding the space station far quicker than I could have imagined. We appreciate your high praise, Mr. Skrullum. Would you like me to show you around? Since the last summit, we've launched several new research projects focused on silicone-based matrices. Well, that sounds lovely, but I do have a meeting with Herta, so let's put the new surprises on hold for now. Madam Herta should be in her office. I'll take you there, right this way. Sure. And you are? Ah, hello, young sir. I've heard so much about you. Herta talks about you often. She's quite curious about you, as am I. What is it like to live in symbiosis with a Stellaron? I hope we'll have sufficient time in the future to get to know each other and answer this question. Sorry, I wanted to show you around, but... Now I don't think I'll be able to get away. All right, see you later.
How strange. It should be around here somewhere. Maybe it's hidden inside Madame Herta's portrait. Huh? Uh, do you need something? If you're looking for the front desk, just go straight through those doors. Wait a second. I know you. I saw you chatting with Captain Arlen just now. You must be the rising star who caught Madame Herta's attention. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Leonard, a cybersecurity engineer here at the space station. You probably know now that the station... But during the repair process... I don't know, we suspect they included a while ago. Can you... Ugh. Uh, yeah, it... to put it simply, this time I designed just... Uh, really? I'm bull So this is... Wait, oh, we need to just... Ugh, eat. Ugh. Ugh, just do me a... Surveillance is this we at beacon transmission. It's really so it's really a there's a strange signal nearby. Maybe it's another piece of graffiti. Look up there. They even put down a question mark. They must be making fun of us. She went towards the base zone. Ah, disappeared again. This thing keeps cutting out when I'm deciphering it. She must have stopped here for a bit. Let's look around. I may not believe this, but... Judging by how... <laughs> the graffiti's location is... I heard they call... The I don't understand. The same thing happened. <sighs> ah, she seems... Seen... 
They seem to be heading toward the monitoring room. Another graffiti. They're all different, too. She really put some thought into this. Huh? That's highly un... Hold on. I got it! It might no wonder she can. Huh? Hmm. Huh? There's no graffiti here. Oh, we're do Ugh, so strange. Did she really leave just like that? She came all this way and didn't take anything with her, nor leave anything behind. Oh, um, they did leave. Oh, me? And that's how I feel when I wake up. I can't. Whoa! It, look, could it be that? Just as I thought. I just remembered. You remember it. I wasn't able. I, I got it. That's when she was. She knew. Hold on. Some researcher. Me too. That the main. Wait, don't move. <sighs> I get chills just looking at the space station monitors now. Let me investigate first. <laughs> just perfect. Not only did she shut off all the access logs, she shut off all the terminal transmissions too. I thought it was the Legion that did this. Let's focus on the main task. I am as a stellar... <laughs> Relax. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. See? I was right. Now we... Hmm. I'm serious. <sighs> both new and familiar. That's 
not gonna happen. I'll say it again. I don't care what Runmei said to you, but there's no chance we're shutting down the simulated universe. Herta, I've made my decision. Question. What have we invested into this project? Hundreds of system hours, the resources of an entire planet, and the most advanced technology in the entire universe. And what have we gotten in return? Unknowns, confusion, and a series of errors. In the beginning, we defined the simulated universe as a miniature world that could be used to discover the traces of the eons. But now, it's become something far removed from its original purpose. The simulated universe is bound to make errors. You said that yourself, and that's exactly what we're experiencing. Why is that a problem all of a sudden? I adore the vast amount of knowledge, but I cannot accept that the simulated universe remains simply a pending contract waiting to be attended to. Herta, think about it. How many surprises has this project given you? And how many disappointments has it given you? The simulated universe never disappointed me. You are what disappoints me, Skrulem. Do you really think of yourself as someone so exceptionally amazing? <laughs> right now, you're more like, like, like someone from the Nitwit Society. <sighs> Herta, I don't mean to question you. Nor do I want to deny the hard work you've put forth for the simulated universe. I just want to give more room for knowledge and inspiration to grow freely. That's enough. Leave if you don't want to be part of this. Go tell the other two yourself. Oh, and take your tech with you. I don't need it. I can go find Adrian Taylor or the red-nosed old man from Epsilon. Or even the Intelligentsia Guild. Screw them. We've known each other for a long time. This is the first time I feel that... You're nothing but a piece of ice-cold metal. My apologies, sir. This all started with me. I was the one that brought up the request to end our academic collaboration. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against Herta or the project. The simulated universe is a great experiment, and Herta is a true genius. However, we have our differences when it comes down to our long-term vision for the future. These differences will often manifest into bias, and bias will get in the way of the form. Deep down, I want to continue to believe in Herta. And the question is whether one should end a collaboration that no longer holds true to its original intent. From an objective standpoint, I should end it immediately. Are you worried about her mental state? Judging by the result, I have failed to choose the most suitable time to raise this matter. The emotions of organic life are like tides. It is my fault for not noticing the trajectory of the moon. Let Herta be alone for a while, so she can calm her emotions. It'll be beneficial for our negotiations later as well. As for the simulated universe, if that's the reason you're here, Maybe I can help in answering your questions. Hmm. Search. Bonfire in the depths of the woods. A lone stone sword points to the stars. Punk Lord mentality. That is no ordinary curio, my friend. That is a love letter a galaxy ranger has written for the universe. Young sir, how much do you know about Punk Lord? It is a planet made of data and symbols. The edges of reality and illusion are blurred in Punk Lord, as are its days and nights. An ether cartridge is a chip that Punk Lordian hackers use to edit reality. The ways through which a hacker perceives and modifies the world are recorded on the chip. It's a recording of the hacker's life and proof of their existence. 
The one on the space station belonged to someone truly legendary. He became a galaxy ranger by accident and spent many long years traveling among the stars. He encountered many of the records and details recorded there. Yes, no need to worry. It's as I said, it is a very... Herta was probably impulsive. I understand your concern. If the individual as such, as you already... Yes, then by way of apology, this is my recommendation. 